Hey everyone, Greg Taylor from Trinity Web Media. Here's another bonus episode of Trinity of the New Marketing Podcast. So I just did a reel about effective versus efficient. It's one of those things like, you know, in order to be profitable, I understand that you have to have certain efficiencies, right? But more than anything, you need to be effective. <clears throat> so how do you balance the two? Because I think a lot of people get things twisted and they think that they're one in the same when they definitely are not one in the same. Like I could be super effective, but it can take me a year and a day and my efficiencies are out the window and thus profitability suffers. I can also be super efficient, but not get the job done to how it needs to be done in order to drive results. It's one of those things where you gotta go back and forth. For my, for what we do at Trinity Web Media and for what I like to do, you know, and I know my business partner thinks about it differently, but me being on the execution and the strategy side of things, I am all about being effective. You know, we try to, we charge accordingly for the time. You know, we're in the business of, and, and digital marketing is a lot of times it's in the business of time and knowledge for dollars, right? <clears throat> so. That's why we try to go to a whole project cost versus hourly cost. So, you know, we can be effective without the constraints of doing it in the fastest amount of time in the most efficient manner. Now, when you do things over and over, you know, there is some, you know, biases that you have, some experience biases, and you can go from, you can leverage your knowledge and experience to make things happen quicker, but it doesn't mean that it's always the right thing for the situation you know case in point you know a lot of times you know we'll be challenged with the same problem and let's say the problem in this case is search visibility <clears throat> so what works for one person may work for the next person but we can't just go ahead and say oh well we're going to do that again because we need to then go in <clears throat> we can use that as a baseline but what we need to do is we need to go in there and get all the facts all the information and everything for the specific use case that we're working on. Is that the most efficient thing in the world? Not at all. Is it the most effective thing? Yes. So I think that when you're starting to outline campaigns, <coughs> excuse me, and you're starting to get things going and you're starting to work on strategy, figure out what's gonna be most effective for the client. And I think in time, you'll figure out your own ways to make that happen in the shortest duration, which then will improve efficiencies. But if you concentrate on effective, I think that in the long run, you're gonna always get better results for your clients. So, hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for checking us out on Instagram Reels. Let us know how the transition from Instagram TV to Reels went. Uh, if there's anything you want us to do differently or any questions that you have, please let us know. We'll keep making videos. You guys keep having questions for us. We'll keep talking. Thanks, talk to you soon.